My name's Emily, I'm a partner and a vet here at Rossdale's Equine Hospital. We're a large veterinary practice uh, in Newmarket. We just treat horses. Uh, we have a large team of people, just over 50 vets and over 100 support staff. Um, we deal with lots and lots of different horses, from donkeys and tiny ponies up to race horses and heavy horses. Across the practice, we have lots of different branches. We have obviously race vets, stud vets, ambulatory vets and then on the site that we're in today we have our hospital where we're able to perform state-of-the-art surgery, medicine, all the new equipment so CT, MRI, all those. Today I'm going to talk you through a little bit of a procedure uh, that we're going to do on this horse in this stable here. Um, this is a horse that's come in, it's a racehorse uh, who works and trains in Newmarket and the trainer's been a little bit concerned that this horse has not been performing at its best. And one of the reasons why that can happen is, is if a horse has stomach, uh, ulcers in their stomach. Yeah, so we just have a look over and make sure that his colour's nice, he's nice and well hydrated. Oops, good boy. Uh, we're happy with his condition, his coat quality looks good. Um, he's nice mus nicely muscled. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and have a listen to his heart. And his heart sounds normal, he's got a nice slow heart rate. Horses have a really slow heart rate compared to people. It's about 32 beats per minute, but I don't hear any sounds of any abnormal rhythm or any murmurs. And um, we'll have a quick listen to his chest to make sure that all sounds fine. That all sounds fine, so we'll just have a quick feel over his back, make sure that all feels fine. And as part of this investigation, if we don't find anything, we'll carry on and look at him more carefully and make sure he doesn't have any lameness problems or anything else. But all that looks fine. Um, so we're happy that we'll take him down to the room now and we can give him some sedation and have a look inside his stomach. Um, so we're now just going to give him a little bit of sedation to make the procedure a bit less unpleasant for him. So this just goes into his vein. Good boy. And then we'll just give him a minute or two to go to sleep and then we'll bring him into the stocks where we can keep him nice and safe. So the first thing we do is we put this tube up his nose. So it goes all the way up his nose and then we're, we're going to make him swallow it and it will go into the first part of his esophagus. This is obviously the tube that goes from his throat down to his stomach. And the reason we put this tube in first is because then we can then pass the endoscope through the hole in the middle. It makes it a lot more straightforward for everybody. This is the bit they don't like, so we just have to gently pop this up his nose. He probably won't like this bit, just for a second. What a good lad you are. So that's the bit they don't like, and now that's him. It means it's nice and safe and straightforward for us to proceed. So now what we do is we get this really long camera. So a horse's stomach's obviously a really long way away. It's about three metres to get from a horse's nose to their stomach. So we obviously have to have this really long underscope, which can be quite tricky to use. So just put a bit of lube on so it passes down the tube a bit more easily. So we're now going down all the way, we're into his esophagus, and you can see we're driving all the way down, quite a long way, a little bit of froth and saliva, that's completely normal. And then we're going to pop into his stomach, and what we hope to see is it's nice and empty. Um, so to have their stomach scope, they have to be held off feed for about 12 hours afterwards, so we're hoping that he's not at his breakfast. Come back a little bit please, Charlie, oh, in a little bit. So what we do sometimes, just put a little bit of air into the stomach, just using a pump like this just so we can see what we're doing. So what we can see now is we can see inside his stomach. So although it always looks a bit alarming, there's two colours to a horse's stomach. There's this red area down here and this white area, and that's completely normal. So this red part makes all the acid, and this white part acts as kind of an extra buffer. So we can see, if you look carefully, that these little red areas here are little areas of ulceration and some little bits up here. So he has got a few stomach ulcers, and they are quite a common problem in racehorses just because of the lifestyle they leave. So they tend to you know, have a relatively stressful life. They tend to do quite a lot of fast exercise. And again, that can be a reason why when you think about a normal horse, the acid should all live down here. And as they're galloping, that can splash up onto this area of the stomach here. And it's not that well protected from the acid. So we get these little ulcers like you see here. So what we'll do now is we'll just drive on around the stomach. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just keep driving. Keep going, Charlie. Perfect. Perfect. Up there. And now we've gone right through his stomach. And we can see here, this little black hole that you'll see in a minute opening up and closing is the entrance into his small intestine. So we always look at the two parts of the stomach. And again, if you see here, you can see this is that nice pale pink colour. That's completely normal. But we see these little areas here where we're just seeing a little bit of roughening, a little bit of reddening of the tissue. 
that's um, just a little bit of alteration that we can see there. So what we do is we just record some pictures for his record so that we know that if we come back and look at it again, we see how bad it was. Um, and certainly this horse probably would benefit from some treatment. We can use drugs to, to reduce acid suppression in, in the stomach, just the same as people would have. So horses can be treated with a meprazole, which is commonly what's used in humans as well. And that would hopefully, if we can reduce the acid in a stomach, that should hopefully make him feel a bit better. Um, you can come back, Charlie. So that what we'll do now is we'll just come back, have one more quick look around his stomach again. So we tend to grade ulcers on a grade of sort of zero to four. And so these are still relatively mild. I'd probably grade these about a two, which means that they may be making him possibly have some relevance to his performance, but equally, they're not so bad that I would expect it to be a real problem for him. Uh, we obviously take some pictures to record for the horse's record, write it all down, decide if the horse needs treatment, and then at the end of that, reverse it, take the scope all the way back out, take the plastic tube out, and that's the end. I don't know why I changed my trousers, if I'm honest, because... Uh... <laughs>